With propane boxes being available kind of off the shelf, why in the world would you want to build your own? Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today I'm talking about reasons we built our own homemade propane boxes for the boat. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Julie Bradley, best-selling author of two sailing classics, Escape from the Ordinary and Crossing Pirate Waters. Warning, These books are hard to put down. Join Glenn and Julie for off-the-beaten-path adventures in extraordinary places. Claw through Force 10 storms with them. Hold your breath through pirate-infested parts of the Mideast. Julie's witty, vibrant writing takes you along every twist and turn. At times, you'll wish you were there, and others, you will be really glad that you weren't. These books take you along for the trip of a lifetime. Find both Escape from the Ordinary and Crossing Pirate Waters on Amazon. Highly recommended. One of our watchwords on Calypso is self-sufficiency. And to that end, having enough propane with us is essential. I love to cook. We love to eat. We cook most meals on board. And being able to have propane at hand when we want it is really important. One of the things that I think is key to that is actually having at least two tanks, because then when one goes empty, you can work on filling it while you have another one ready to cook with. During Calypso's refit, we spent a lot of time thinking about the galley and what we wanted to do with propane. We've always carried our tanks on the cabin top and have never had a box for them. They've always just been aluminum tanks on the cabin top. And we wanted to swap out where our dinghy is stored. So we're going to put the dinghy on the cabin top. Those propane tanks then needed to move. We also wanted to upgrade to 20 pound tanks from 10 pound tanks because we want to increase our propane tank capacity. We've heard from a number of people that it can be challenging in different places around the world to actually fill propane tanks. And so having a longer supply is important to us. We decided that we were going to move the propane tanks to beside the mast, which is actually where they are on the factory finished boats. We wanted these boxes to look reasonable. We did not want to add maintenance to the list, which some people find amusing when we're sailing a pretty traditional looking boat with a fair amount of wood, but we didn't want to add any maintenance to our list. And the box really needed to be strong enough to be stood on. So how did Jeremy decide to go about building these? Well, first of all, he got a confirmation from a fellow Bristol Channel Cutter owner, Eric Palmer of Thistle, who had built boxes out of wood, but he had built boxes that fit 20-pound horizontal propane tanks. So knowing that they were going to work on the deck next to the mast where we wanted it to fit and that it would fit a 20-pound tank was really important. Those 20-pound aluminum tanks are not inexpensive, And knowing that they were going to work was important going forward. After a lot of thinking, Jeremy decided that he was going to build the boxes out of three quarter inch King Starboard, which is an HDPE plastic high density polyethylene, which is just really heavy duty, dense, dense, dense plastic. And this is supposedly specially formulated to withstand UV. The sides of the boxes are bolted together using aluminum angle as the joints. They're affixed to the deck with carriage bolts that come up. And one of the carriage bolts actually doubles as a way of holding in the propane tank. A couple of other details are that there is a regulator and solenoid that stay and they're on the starboard side. So when we run out of gas in one tank, we will take the empty tank out of that spot, move the full one that lives in the port side over to the starboard side and hook it back up. And then we'll be looking for a place to refill that now empty tank. We also have limber holes that have been cut and these are holes to allow water to drain out. The tank is not waterproof. It does keep most of it out, but It's not waterproof, and we did not want water to get stuck in the box. So there are big holes in the low points so the water can drain out very, very easily. We're pretty happy with the whole thing. It looks reasonable. 
It holds a 20 pound tank perfectly. It should be relatively maintenance free and it is super, super strong. I've already used it to step on. The other bonus is that we found it's the perfect spot to leave our winch handle for working at the mast. We just pop open the propane box and the winch handle fits in very nicely right around the propane tank. The box fits the space totally perfectly and an off the shelf propane locker would not have. It was not particularly difficult to build. Very helpful to do it with material that is maintenance free very heavy duty and strong, easy to find, and is very easy to work with. It was also super helpful to have a sister ship having installed propane tanks, and there we, therefore we got an idea that the shape and the size would work in the space that we wanted it to. If you have an idea for a propane locker, and you want to store your propane somewhere that it doesn't exactly look like there's a box ready for it, you might consider making your own instead of buying something off the shelf that might not fit, might not work the way you want it to, and might be more expensive than you want to spend. I can't wait to share an Anchorage with you when we share goodies that we've made and talk about projects that we're really excited we did on our own. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love it when we hear from our listeners. We love it when you leave us a five-star review. And of course, we love it when you subscribe so you never miss an episode. There are two of these every single week. Have the most spectacular week.